well we're off. We've uh, lifted the hook and we're heading around the edge of Wales. Uh, we're not going to go around the clerics, we're going to go through Ramsey Sound and hopefully if we can do it Jack Sound. We're sailing in company today still. We've got Aquila in front of us. But we have a new member to the sailing team. So behind us is sailing yacht Volupia. Also YouTubers, um, check out their channel. There's not enough wind to motor on this passage, but we have what I call sparkly seas. The sun is shining and reflecting off the water. It's really nice. We're making very slow progress today. We did quite well around the first bay and picked up a back at the end did about six knots. But now we're going very slowly. Um, Bloopy is still behind us somewhere. Oh, it's a bit rocky rolly, sorry guys for the wobbly pictures. But um, we are, let's have a look at the instruments. We're only doing four knots over ground. So quite slow, but we're still doing okay. Still beautiful. We're just approaching the headland now to head. We're going to turn in a few minutes and go down through Ramsey Sound. We did manage to sail in the end, which was nice. Um, get a bit of push, but we still needed to motor at the same time. Pretty amazing views. Um, we've lost sight of Aquila. She shot round this headland so quickly. No idea where she went. We're just coming up to Ramsey Sound. We are at um, slack water, which is the optimum time to go through. And uh, there's a bit of wind on the on the stern, which is nice, but it means that um, uh, the, the, the sails are tending to, to flog from one side to the other. Um, there's some canoeists, some very intrepid canoeists who've just probably come through Ramsey. And then if we look up here, there's the sound. I'm worried about the name of that vessel. You're worried about the name of that vessel? What did you think it was called? It sounded like Master Beta. It can't be Master oh, no, Beta. No, it just it can't like. be. That's just so wrong. <laughs> we are approaching Jack Sound. Here it is. Going through this gap here and then we will be able to go around the headland and into Dale in Milford Haven. It's been a glorious day, super sunshine all day. Hopefully this one's going to be a fast ride through. This is St Anne's Head... <coughs> sorry. This is St Anne's Lead. This is St Anne's Head Lighthouse. Um, it's just off the Milford Haven entrance. You can see a great big cruise ship coming out that entrance. We're just about to go around this headland and then turn in. We've arrived in Dale, we're on anchor. A bit of an all the breeze has kicked up since we've arrived. It was flat calm this morning. I think we're thinking of getting off and popping over to see Aquila. Uh, and I might even go for a swim. It's been sunny and hot all day. Looking gorgeous here though. Alan is, Alan is down below. I don't know what he's doing. He's going in. Again. Come in to see what you're doing. Just checking the weather. Just checking the weather. Is this for tomorrow's passage? Yeah. We're thinking we might head to Oxwich Bay from here tomorrow as the weather's holding good and we're trying to get ourselves back to Cardiff. Just setting off from Dale this morning. It's a um, beautiful morning again and uh, sun shining. We're heading up to Lorraine. Yacht Centre, Yacht Station. Um, hopefully we'll be able to pick up a mooring boy and then um, spend the night there. The, the forecast for tonight is very nice, so we'll look forward to uh, um, having a nice night on the, a mooring boy. That's the entrance to Milford Haven. A lot of yachts around, bank holiday weekend. So very busy in the Haven. Here's my handsome hubby on the helm, looking very happy. We're enjoying a lot of industrial architecture and just through that pier over there, 
is what looks like an old fort. Yeah, the Martello, the Martello Tower, Alan calls it, but I'm not sure. We'll have to Google it to find well, out. But I love these... the industrial architecture. I love all the ambition and the confidence it shows. They're huge pier structures. I think these were used to take the gas. Uh, so it comes in by tanker and we take it off and then obviously use it on land. Today we're sailing in company, but we're sailing in company with Bloopia, uh, another YouTube channel. Um, we are basically, at the moment, heading up the side of the channel, trying to avoid this. The pilot boats are pushing it up the river, and there's one along the river making sure that nobody gets in his way. You can just be on the loop you there. It's going really well. Alan has just appeared on deck with the most delicious breakfast sandwich and a tea. Looks very happy. Here we go, under Cleddell Bridge. Usual nervous experience as we approach. Because, you know, the mast is 20 metres and the bridge is 19.6, I think. So I hope we've got enough water, you know, low tide and all that sort of thing. There we go. Oh, it does look close. And there we go. Shouldn't touch, should it? Ooh, just sneaked under. What a relief. No, I'm just kidding, it's 38 metres. <laughs> we'll come ashore. We did come and have a look at this nice little cafe on the side with a view across the boats, but it's really busy, so we're going to head to the pub. So, different direction for us. Heading down the path to see what we can find next. So we've been to the pub for a quick drink and now we're back on the boat and we're going to get a spot of lunch and then Tisha and Jen and Rob are thinking of having a swim, which I'm sure will be lovely. Well, you can't get a better lunch spot than this. We're on deck. The bimini's up to shade us from the hot sun. Bunch outside. And it is hot. Fabulous views, and it is boiling. Well, it's going to be a beautiful sunset tonight in Lorena Key or Lorena Yacht Haven. I can't quite remember what it's called. Been swimming today in here. Been chilling. We went to the pub. The pub is back there. Can't see it actually. It's blocked by the key over there. Um, we've managed to find the campsite, get a good shower. Which is nice after four days at sea. And here's Alan. He's just getting our generator ready. We've had four days out and we need to put some power in our batteries. So unfortunately everybody's going to have to listen to our generator for an hour or two. Never mind. He's a very happy man. Look at that smile. He's not going to want to go home after this. That sunset's just too good. He said, look how quickly it's going down. Look at that. What a beautiful evening. Living on board our boat is a very special experience. We're really, really enjoying it. We've gone from a beautiful sunset last night to a beautiful sunrise this morning. And it's gorgeously still. Had a fantastic night's sleep. And we're heading to Milford Haven today. Here we are leaving Lorene Key, I think. It's very nice, we're pretty. Um, we're gonna say goodbye to this lovely spot. But I am going down below. Um, it's a bit noisy because of the engine, but I am cooking breakfast. So, as it's my job to sort of breakfast, which is rare for me, I'm gonna get it done. There we have sausage rolls all ready to be cut up and put together passage breakfast. Oh yeah breakfast is ready. Now it's time to take it up to the skipper on deck. We 
are in Milford Haven. This is our birth. Um, Alan and I are just setting off. We're going to foam for our dinner. He's pointing at the fish. Mullet. mullet. Lots of mullet jumping in the marina tonight. So we're meeting the Stangers off Aquila. Um, we also sailed in company down here today with Volupia. So we've been very busy. Um, we've done some repair work on our... Um, alternator, making sure the wires and everything feeding through are charging our batteries properly. So we're hoping things are getting better on that front. Looking forward to our dinner. This is our uh, view from the restaurant this evening. We're in a restaurant called Phone and this is our view. George has just told me it's nicely situated. <laughs> Alan's obviously eyeing up what he's going to eat and it's got to be at least two courses or he's not going to be happy. <laughs> At least two. At least two, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. What a great cruise it's been. Yeah, oh, fantastic. Alright, <laughs> Alan is eating pulled pork bonbons. They're like breaded pulled pork balls. He looks very happy with those. What do they taste like? Can't speak, he says his mouth is full. <laughs> I've had gloomy fries. And my chicken burger has arrived. Alan says he's got to move closer to his food. I don't really know why. So I don't get all over my shirt. Okay, there is a reason. He doesn't need to get it all over his shirt. <laughs> I think this is a great reason. <laughs> Well, the meal is all done and it's time to go. So I'm just collecting the ground. We've paid the bill, time for bed. Just making our way down Milford Haven and uh, this is the, uh, these are the things we have to keep our eyes open for. Although to be completely honest, it's not difficult because they are absolutely huge. These, um, I'm assuming it's liquefied petroleum tanker, but they are pretty impressive. Well, we've uh, motored down from Milford Haven to Dale. We're going to leave Dale tomorrow and head out to Rossilly Bay for an anchor overnight and then take the tide up and hopefully back to Carven, Carnarvon after that. Um, in Dale Bay they have some new visitors moorings so we've picked one of these up. So here's the visitors mooring. They are nice and big and bright yellow, therefore 40 foot 10 ton boats maximum. So we're just on the limit. The alternative here is a free pontoon. There's nothing on it, but you can moor up to that and wait to go out with the tide tomorrow. So there's the two options. It's looking not too bad, hoping that we're not gonna get too much wind on the nose tomorrow. So those of you that have been following us on YouTube will know that we've been sailing on board Seagull now for about four months. And in that four months when we arrived in Scotland in James Watt Dock, I have not been able to buy Earl Grey decaffeinated tea bags anywhere. <laughs> it's been a nightmare because they are my favourite and it's what I drink all the time. I have actually had two emergency deliveries. My daughter appeared halfway through that two months and bought me several boxes. Um, and then friends appeared later on um, in the form of Adrian and Kay and they bought me several boxes of Earl Grey tea bags. We have arrived in Milford Haven and finally, finally, we get Earl Grey decaffeinated tea bags. I am no longer on a shortage. I am able to buy them in the shops. But having said that, the boxes we could find were very battered and broken, but I'm still a one very happy lady. Our plan for tomorrow is uh, we're currently in Dale, which is about here, and we are going to come out first light to avoid all the lobster pots. We would go earlier, but we want to avoid the lobster pots. So we're going to come out first light, make our way around here, all the way along here, 
over here. We might cut tuck into the bay a bit because there's a bit of a back eddy, but we shouldn't need to. And then we're going to end up in Rossilli Bay. Tucked in there, the winds are north and northeast, or possibly east or east northeast. Or northeast. So we should be quite well protected there. And we're going to anchor, aren't we? Anchoring in there for the night. And then the following day we're going to come out. We may go through Helwick Pass, or we may go round the, uh, the sandbank and then head up to Cardiff. And if it's a wretched journey, because we'll actually be sailing into wind and wind over tight conditions, um, Swansea's a bit further off, so we can, we can actually just go into Swansea. We decided not to go today. Um, the wind isn't behaving itself quite as we expected, so we're having a day in Dale, and we're gonna go for a nice walk, probably up and over the hills, and, uh, and then we're hoping to set off tomorrow morning. We've booked a, a mooring in Swansea Marina, so um, fingers crossed for a, a decent weather window tomorrow and Friday. We took a walk from Dale Bay across. We took the road up to the end of the village, past Dale Castle, which we might show you in the background over there. And we've come out on this really nice sandy bay and cove behind us. I don't know if Alan's going to show you, but the water's really, really clear. I'm um, going to film George. <laughs> no, he's going to film George. Do you think we should just walk back a bit? Yeah. <laughs> she just, <laughs> do you want us over the cliff? The or, you know. <laughs> Oh, so uh, we've got to go around right now. <laughs> I have. <laughs> have you got David now as well? Yeah, got, got, that's the whole gang. No, we've got to have the whole gang, apparently, in the video. The whole gang. Yeah, so all of us. Is <laughs> <laughs> George hiding behind David again? Back a bit. Alan. Here we are. <laughs> the full gang on the walk. Just a couple of steps back and you'll get us all in. Yeah, if you step yeah. back a bit, there's a cliff there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but that's Seagull on a mooring buoy from Dale Bay. We are up heading along St Anne's Head. I don't know where the path is going to take us, but I'm kind of hoping we might see the lighthouse. We're heading out along there. We've got great views out across the bay. We can see Scockholm Island there. Alan's going out onto the point. Just to the right of Dave here, you can see a bit of a dip, and that's Jack Sound that we uh, sailed through in a earlier video. Almost see right through Jack Sound. Looking calm. Not quite. We've come across St Anne's Head Lighthouse. Here's the team walking along. <laughs> They're having a little ladder to each other about Coast Guard helicopters and why they would want to land. At St Anne's Head. I never know when I'm being recorded. Maybe somebody should comment and say why there's a helipad at St Anne's Lighthouse so we can answer all these questions. The skies look fantastic up here. You can see the light there. And the view out across the sea that would be out across towards Port Cornwall called Cobbler's Hole. We're laughing at the fog signal. It says the public are advised. A very loud signal emits a noise here, but it's the sign that makes us laugh with the triangle and his fingers in his ears. 